Okay, so huge news coming out of the MLB this morning. Uh, a report from the Atlantic, the latest article on the whole cheating scandal, details how um, some guy, I don't know his name, I'll link the uh, article below, um, he filed a, uh, a a civil suit, which he basically, that just means he sued uh, the MLB, he was a DraftKings uh, player, and he said that the cheating scandal affected uh, the outcome of his bets. The MLB, in that lawsuit earlier, it came out that they said cheating is a part of the game. Um, however, a judge just ruled to release a letter that was written from Rob Manfred to the Yankees front office, uh, and he claims uh, details how the Yankees cheated or... Um, basically says the MLB isn't going to do anything about the Yankees cheating. So this is huge news for a number of reasons. One, the Yankees cheated, and it sounds like we now know why Rob Manfred didn't do anything to the Red Sox. Uh, because in 2017, I think it was, right? Was it 2017 or 2016? Regardless, whenever the Apple Watch stuff happened, Rob Manfred sent them uh, a letter and said, if this happens again, the manager and the GM are going to have to suffer consequences for these actions. Obviously, it happened again, and they blamed it on a rogue video guy. Um and they didn't suffer consequences. They they axed Cora only for his Astros involvement. So that's number one. And it also, you know, it, it explains that almost every team, at least in the American League, were cheating. So that's why he couldn't really do anything to the Red Sox, because now it opens a can of worms. But my main concern here is, as a Phillies fan... 2017, Joe Girardi was the manager. Are the Philadelphia Phillies now going to be punished for something that the New York Yankees did wrong? So the New York Yankees cheated. They stole signs. And there's actually an MLB network clip of Joe Girardi talking about, oh, well, we got the signs from up top, and then it came to the dugout, and we relayed it to the guy on second base who relayed it to the hitter. So... Uh, he actually says, in, I was in a system. But are the Phillies now going to lose a manager because the MLB didn't do an investigation and report that the Yankees cheated? I mean, the the MLB, uh, Rob Manfred, especially the commissioner's office, is like, they, they mishandled this so bad, it's ridiculous. Like, what they should have done was, this offseason, when all of this was being investigated, they should have came out right away and said, Joe Girardi cheated when he was with the Yankees, so we're suspending him a year. He never would have got the job with the Phillies. Now we're in a limbo where, uh, you know, it, it's about to restart. Spring training is about to start June or July 10th is uh, the start date that everyone's floating around. And there's going to be a season... It, it just might be 45 games. So, will we not have a manager this year? Also, like, the other two managers, their suspension's going to be 45 games long. That's a joke. But uh, if everyone was cheating, I can see why it's such a joke. I just wish that they would have came out and said either everyone's cheating, so we're not going to punish them, or, uh, you know... Joe Girardi cheated and the Yankees cheated, so he can't have a job. Now, the Phillies are screwed. They're not going to have, you know, a manager. I don't know what they're going to do. But this is actually huge news uh, because Yankee fans for a while were claiming that they were innocent compared to every other team, which, I mean, they were in the eyes of the commissioner, so you can't fault the Yankee fans. But huge news coming out of the Atlantic today. Definitely check out the article below. But... Even if you don't have an Atlantic subscription, uh, just Google Yankees cheating and it'll it'll pop right up. Or Yankees, really, the news will pop right up. So thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, peace.